Alrighty, day number six. So uh, tomorrow and Friday are going to be pretty hard days because those are usually the days I spend some heavy duty time record shopping. So, and those who watched the video last night, that wasn't cheating. It wasn't cheating. Uh, Tony sent me that in the mail, so I didn't go to the record store. So, still six days, no record store. So, day number five right there. The Who sell out. So, thanks for everybody for watching that. We had some good conversations going about that. I'm glad I helped a few people revisit the album. So, um, the record I'm going to show you today, um, I would say, you know, we definitely said get this one. And you're going to definitely want to get this one I'm going to show you. So, uh, I know some people, money's a little tight. You know, record shopping, that sort of, you know, um, expendable income that uh, you could be putting towards something better. But um, I would say put this one a little bit higher on your priority list, you know. <laughs> it's one of my personal faves. These are all, like, my favorite records, but um, this one is definitely up there. And it might come as a shock to some people. So uh, I will start this off by saying Mother Earth is pregnant for the third time y'all have knocked her up so if you know what that is then you probably have this album funkadelic maggot brain so uh this album's from 1971 it came out on westbound records um this is a four men with beards reissue which i think they reissued a lot of the the funkadelic catalog here just a couple of years ago um just awesome awesome album i love it uh, the the title track Maggot Brain is just like a ten minute jam and just it's just so cool. You see, you know, and and a lot of people might think, hey, it's just all he listens to is rock and psychedelic music. Oh, that's wrong. So yes, I have a little bit of you gotta listen to a little soul every once in a while. So um, this is just a phenomenal album. Um, if you like Jimi Hendrix, it's just I guess it's just kind of like a funkified Jimi Hendrix. That's the best way to to kind of describe it. Um, Eddie Hazel's guitar, you know, sort of I would say it definitely rivals Hendrix. Um, and there's a lot of different styles on this album too. So there's uh, like uh, you know, uh, hit it and quit it, uh, me and my folks, you and your you and your folks. Uh, um, let me see what else is on here to get some of the title tracks. Uh, can you get to that? Just like a just a totally funky song. Um, it's super stupid. Uh, there's not really too many tracks on this. It's only uh, let's see. There's only seven tracks, but uh, two of them clock in at over ten minutes. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, just about ten minutes. So uh, Wars of Armageddon, which kind of closes out the album, uh, has some sort of you know some. I, I guess you could maybe say they were sort of like some techno things, like some of the, the sound effects and all that were, you know, definitely interesting for the time for 1971. So, um, really awesome album. Uh, I discovered this album through, there was a Mojo compilation, something with Jimi Hendrix, I think, and the song Super Stupid was on there, which um, I hate to throw this term around, but people always talk about proto-punk. They always, you know, those bands that were emulating punk even before punk was sort of uh, existed. But it's just the guitar work is just really, it's just a really fast, um, you know, kind of chunky guitar work. And uh, just about a guy buying the wrong kind of drugs, basically, becoming a maggot brain, which it's uh, up to the uh, listener's interpretation to say what exactly that is, so... So, really quick, I don't really have too much to say about this album other than get it. Um, it's definitely an album that just you just need to listen to to get. Um, really talking about it really doesn't do the album justice at all whatsoever. Um, I know a couple people have been kind of talking about this on the vinyl community, this this album in particular. I mean, year, a couple months ago, um, I think probably like around June or so, but... Um, I've uh, been enjoying this for quite some time. I've had this album um, in my collection. I had it on CD first, and then, of course, when it was reissued on vinyl, I snapped it up. So, again, Funkadelic Maggot Brain, day number six. So, great, great stuff. Great group. So, if you're not really into, like, the later, you know, Parliament Funkadelic or P-Funk All-Stars or... Um, you know, this is a good this is a good place to start. This is a good if you're a really big rock fan and you don't have too many, um, you know, sort of funky records or uh, if, you know if you hey if you like James Brown, um, kind of James Brown meets Jimi Hendrix and kind of their own thing. Uh, but again, like I said, words can really not describe this album. It's just something that you have to to hear and and feel and and groove along with. So. So thank you for watching, and we will see you tomorrow. So take care.